Division two, Oak Harbor facing off with Napoleon. The Wildcats with new life after replacing Central Catholic. We're ready to pounce early. Sophie Chips open scoring and she would score a lot more. Next possession, Chips again. Different spot, same result. Keep feeding the hot hand. Heat check for Chips, count it. Napoleon off and running, two more for Chips. 20 of their first 29 points. She finished with a career high 25. Oak Harbor breaks the pressure here. Home run pass. Bucket for Carter Haas, but Napoleon continues to pour it on. Plenty of support for Chip's teammates, Michaela Cruz there. Napoleon dominates start to finish 55 12. The Wildcats are moving on. Definitely feels like really crazy. And when we first found out, it was definitely really shocking. And we had to throw in a practice last night and make sure we still like knew what we were doing, got everything down, and had to prepare for this game. We knew we had to come out with a lot of energy, so it felt really good. Napoleon has to prepare for the winner of this game. They'll get Rodgers or Wassey on Rams. Living up to their name late in the first, Priya Jefferson ramming through the lane. Look out, Rodgers up 10-6. This one stayed pretty close throughout, tied at 17 to start the second half. Look at that speed. Jefferson again, and everything starts falling as the third quarter rolls on. Jefferson, just keep feeding her the rock, and one. She finished with 20 points, not to be out dumb though. Shout out, Milo Williams, waiting in transition. A team high 23 points for her. This puts the Rams up double digits with five minutes left, and they aren't letting that lead go. 54-49, Rogers hangs on to knock out Wasion For the third time in the last six seasons, Jason Griffin and Maddie Klein have more. A doubleheader at Anthony Wayne, Division II District Semifinals. Let's talk, Maddie, about the first game. Napoleon comes in here. They didn't think they were going to play any more basketball this season. They come in because of Central Catholic uh, being out of the tournament. So they come in. They put a whooping on Oak Harbor, 55-12, to and Sophie Chips was dominant. They did such a great job really coming together in a short amount of time to be able to come out and, and look unfazed. They played great team basketball. Chips really put the ball in her hands early, which really set the tone, and everybody just followed suit for their team. She had a career high in points, so Napoleon moves on to play on Saturday night. Now, the second game was a lot closer. Wasion gave it a valiant effort, but Rogers just a little bit too much down the stretch. Uh, Breon Jefferson had a great game, 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Clark had a ton of blocks, and Rogers moves on. Yeah, and don't forget about Williams. She had such a great job there from the perimeter, knocking down a couple clutch threes, so very well rounded. And the players that maybe weren't in the scoring books, they did a lot of the little things to keep their team in there and come out with a nice win tonight. So head coach Lamar Smith has the Rodgers Rams in the district final once again. They will take on Napoleon as they win it by five here tonight. So Saturday night, the district final, Napoleon Wildcats against the Rodgers Rams.